In the last video, we learned about the two upper and two lower methods. In this video, let us learn about the starts with and ends with methods. These methods are generally used for providing a true or false result by checking a given string. If the string starts or ends with the substring given inside the method as an argument, its result is true, or else the result turns out to be false. If it feels confusing don't worry, we would go through the methods and demonstrate examples. Also, we would show cases where the results are true as well as false. Without any further delay, let us start using the methods. For demonstration of a string method, we first need to declare a string. I have declared a string variable called name. It holds the value C sharp videos. The white spaces would also be counted as characters of the string. Next, let us try the methods with the string we declared. If we look into the string value, it starts with letter C and ends with letter S. We would check them by passing these letters as an argument first. But before that, let us look into the syntax. The syntax of the methods are same and similar to the other methods. We type the string variable, then place a dot and type the string method. If there are any arguments to be given inside the method we do so. Here, the argument is a string which can be of one or more characters. The starts with method would check whether the string we give inside as an argument is the start of the complete string. The same happens with the ends with method, but it checks whether the argument is the end of the original string instead of checking the start. For now, we have given C as an argument inside starts with and S inside the ends with method. We cannot use single quotes to declare a single character. The argument is considered to be a string even if it is one character. Finally, we use console.read line so that the console doesn't exit automatically. Now, let us run the application. On seeing the output, we come to know that the methods have acknowledged the values to be the start and end of the given string. It is because, both the values show true as the result. It means that the string starts with C and ends with S. Next, we would demonstrate a case where the output would be false. For that, we just change the character arguments to any letter other than the starting and ending letter. For example, I would change it to B and K respectively. After changing, run the application again to check the results. As we expected, the output for both the methods are false. So, we have now done with testing a single character. We have also tested both the results. Next, let us test the methods with more than one character as an argument. Let us now go and change the arguments to strings. In the starts with method, we give the first four characters including the white space. Without the white spaces included, the result would be false. In the ends with method, we give EOS as the string. These are the last three characters of the original string. Let us now run the application to see the result. And as we all know, the result is true in both the cases. The next thing to do is to check the case sensitivity of the method. We do so because the methods are related to checking strings and producing a boolean result. Let us keep the same strings as arguments. But, let us change the capital C in the starts with to lowercase. Similarly, let us change the small s in ends with method to uppercase. On changing, the letters appear to be same, but the case is different. Now we run the application and see that the results produced are false. This shows that both starts with as well as ends with method are dedicated to doing case sensitive comparison. To avoid case sensitivity, there are different overloads of the given methods. For those who do not know, overloads are nothing but different versions of a method which has different type and number of arguments. These methods too have such overloads. When you look at the starts with method, you can see that it automatically recommends the method with some arguments inside. Here, we would use the version of the method which has three arguments. The first argument is the string used for comparison. The second one is the option for ignoring the case. 
This argument takes true or false as the value. True means that it ignores the case and false means that it would not ignore the case. False is the default value here, but we would use true for ignoring the case. The last argument is the option for providing culture-related information. We would not get into it deeply, but in short, it allows us to give the different versions of a language. For example, many languages are written in English, but letters change. Similarly, English has different dialects like the US or UK. Providing a culture-specific information compares the string according to the culture. Giving null allows the current culture. We provide null in both the methods. Now we have ignored the case and provided the current culture. Let us run the application. As we expected earlier, the results are true in both the cases. This means that when we ignore the case, it only checks the alphabets and not the case of the string. That's it for the explanation of methods. I hope we learned how to use the starts with and ends with methods. These methods are used mostly for checking and displaying words in alphabetical order. We also looked at the different overloads of the methods. Let us see about other string methods in a future video. Thank you for watching.